Welcome to Surrey TV, I'm Victoria Durant and this week we're at the Even Arno Theatre in Guildford. Rather appropriately, our first story this week features a real-life princess. Children's Hospice shooting star Chase had a very special guest for afternoon tea last Friday. Her Royal Highness, the Duchess of Cambridge, joined the children and their families for tea after a tour of the facility and music therapy session. The energy in the building was breathtaking as the Duchess circulated and ensured that she met as many of the children and adults as she could. Many of the children were smitten by her contact and took full advantage of her hugs that were freely available. The Royal Visitor also met with representatives of the 650 volunteers who gave their time across the charity in its hospices, shops and support offices. Shooting Star Chase's Chief Executive David Berlin said, We are honoured to have welcomed Her Royal Highness to the Shooting Star House. The Duchess is a committed supporter of children's hospices and showed great knowledge about our vital work supporting children with life-limited conditions and their families. She also took time to speak with families, volunteers and staff to learn more about the impact of our work and the wider palliative care network. with Bonnie Langford and she's going to tell us a bit about how the panto's going. Mm. Yeah. It's going really well, thanks Victoria. It's going really well. We're here at the Yvonne Nano Theatre in Guildford doing Cinderella. Uh, just doing a warm-up right now. Well, I'm not because I'm talking to you. <laughs> and uh, I play Fairy Snow, who's Cinderella's fairy godmother, so I make it all happen. Mm. And uh, hopefully, <laughs> with the help of all the, uh, the audience, who are terrific. And we're running here, we're on now, until January the 12th. Fantastic. And how's all the, the show been going so far? Yeah, it's great. I love Guildford Panto because it's very much a traditional panto, very strong on story and very much about the people in it and just playing the characters. So it's not about coming along and particularly seeing someone you know off the telly. It's about actually involving everyone. Mm -hmm. I think it's great panto because it's all about young people particularly and families. I think the other day we had four generations of one family. How many things can you go and do oh, together? Yeah that you sit as a family, you don't yeah. tweet, you don't get on your phone, you don't have four people in different rooms, you know, it was mm. everyone all together watching something fun, having a good time and celebrating the time of year. That's lovely, thank you so much Bonnie. You're welcome. We'd like to remind viewers that if you are travelling by train over the festive holiday, please do check the engineering works on the railways operated by our two main operating companies, Southern Railways and Southwest Trains. Engineering works have already begun, but more works will be taking place over Christmas. Visit southwesttrains.co.uk and click on engineering work or on southernrailway.com, click improvement works for more information. I'd now like to introduce you to Jamie Brooke, who's playing Buttons. Hello. Hello. Hi, Jamie. Right? Good, thanks. How are you doing? I'm all right, thank you. Ready Good. for another show? And I hear Buttons is your dream role? It is, yeah. I've been waiting to do it for quite a few years, so chuffed to be doing it in Guildford as well, which is the best thing. Yeah, what sort of reaction are you getting from the audience? A good one so far. Let's hope it stays that way. The children are loving it, and uh, I think the adults are liking it too, so that's, that's good. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> well, uh, enjoy tonight, won't you? I will do. Thank you. Residents in Weybridge were woken by a high-pitched squeal last Friday morning. The police weren't called as it turned out it was sausage creator Freya Terry and her delight at being on Surrey TV. Hold your ears as it's time for her second appearance on the screen. James Lally, the butcher creating Freya's sausages, told Surrey TV that Queen's Road sausage was selling well as customers sought new and interesting flavours in their bangers. The sausages are available from James of Shepparton at 197 Laylam Road, Shepparton. Mention Surrey TV this week and get 10% off your order. A name that many will know in Guildford is that of Diana Roberts. It's been long overdue that we got Diana on camera, so Chantelle went to meet her in Guildford this week. Hello Diana, Hello. it is so great to finally meet you. I have a million questions for you, but I think I'm going to have to stick with a few for Dal. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to start with, um, we hear you won the Silver Award for um, The Beautiful South. 
We did, yes. Beautiful South Wall for the Best Tourist Information Centre. Yes. We got silver, which is second year running. Yes. And our very good friends at Radisson Blue Edwardian, they got gold for access for all for their um, accessibility in the new hotel. So we were, oh, Guildford did good. We did good yeah. that night, yes. Fantastic. And you're going to be doing a sleep out, sleep easy thing. And that's going to be for charity in aid of the homeless. Is that it is. It's for, um, I had my arm severely twisted by the Guildford YMCA. Um, next March on the 1st oh, ne first of February, they're doing it. Um, mm. And it's the sleep easy, sleep out. And it's in aid of raising profile of young homeless people. See. So we're all sleeping out. There's yeah. a whole crowd of us over at Watts Gallery. And which you're going is... to be out in the cold. With in the cold, yeah. Full makeup, nails. obviously. And <laughs> Full nails and a blinged yeah. sleeping bag. Hair done, makeup done. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. I won't because there's going to be a camera around. I mean, yeah. I've just got to. Um, <laughs> but what worries me is because it's what's gallery. If it snows, it's going to turn into Narnia. So yeah. it's going to be pretty cold. <laughs> Brilliant. And so, how's 2014 looking for you? I'm sure you've got lots of things coming up with the new Work, brochure. Yes, and... work-wise, it's really busy here. Um, we're working on the new destination brochure right now and the new attractions guide. They go to print next week, so they're going to be out on the first of February. Um, so yes very busy lots of events coming up and there we go and this is why you're the most famous lady in Surrey eh? <laughs> <laughs> all right it's back to you Victoria thanks Chantal Diana's web page for donations for the sleep easy sleep out can be found at mydonate.bt.com forward slash fundraisers forward slash Diana Roberts 100 Diana's target is £3,000, but with your help, we are hoping to lift that number to £5,000. That said, if every viewer to Surrey TV donate a pound, we could triple that number. The renowned wildlife artist and conservationist David Shepherd, CBE, was at Shelford Station last weekend. David, president of the Merchant Navy Locomotive Preservation Society, which maintains and runs the Clan Line steam locomotive, was there to greet the engine and crew as it stopped for water. Passengers, who were enjoying a luxury lunch whilst travelling through Surrey, looked on as the crowds grew to see the artist as he posed for photographs with the engine. Enthusiasts who attended the event also visited the nearby David Shepherd Wildlife Foundation Gallery, which has several limited edition steam paintings and prints by David. At the studio, there's a fantastic selection of wildlife paintings, many of which will be familiar sights to those with a passion for wildlife. Sales from the work go directly towards funding anti-poaching and conservation projects in various parts of the world. Visit davidshepherd.org to find out more and to see David's beautiful paintings. As Christmas approaches and we all begin to think of our waistline and the effect that Christmas will have on it, a Walton Fitness Company has just confirmed their outdoor Armageddon boot camp at Elm Grove Recreation Ground in Walton. There'll be four classes in one session and the event begins at 11am on the 25th of January 2014. Not for the faint-hearted, but certainly for those who want to start the new year with a big impact on their personal health and fitness. Visit colemanpersonaltraining.co.uk forward slash boot hyphen camps to book your slot on this new and unique training camp. filming from Guildford's Ivanano Theatre. Thank you to everyone who's looked after us today here at the theatre. And now you know where to bring your kids for this year's Christmas Panto. And it runs on until January as well. Take care and enjoy the county. We'd like to remind viewers that if you are travelling by train over the festive holiday, please do check. <laughs> Stop clicking on viewers there. There you go. Yeah, thanks. Today 
name that many will know in Guildford is that of Diana Roberts. It's been, a long over, it's been long overdue that we got Diana on camera, so Chantelle went to meet her in Guildford this week. 